So what's the number one source of losing motivation, quitting, you know, just sucking in life in general, uh, even at higher levels. So even like this, the same thing I'm going to explain to you now, it, uh, it applies to me as well. So it's not like, uh, you know, about getting started. It's a principle that keeps going the whole way. Uh, and this principle is unfinished tasks, incomplete actions. When you set out to do something and you don't do it, and you know, for whatever reason, that's death. You know, there's a reason I talked about it so much in my videos about consistency, about, you know, you have to complete cycles of action. If you said you're gonna do something, and that's like your daily routine, you have to do it. That's why I talk so much about, hey, you know, make the goal tiny, the, the daily goal tiny. You know, you know instead of uh, meditating an hour, do it for like a minute, but make sure that it's something that you complete. Because if you complete something small every day, you're at least you gain confidence from it. You're like, oh, I did it. And you feel good because you completed an action and now you have more faith in, in your responsibility and, and, and your ableness to, to do more. What happened to me recently, and again, I'm just I'm giving you this as, as an example to realize that this is not a problem that you only face at the low levels, okay? I do my freaking, you know, 30 fucking plus daily goals every single day. And in the last two, three weeks, Ever since moving, I've, I've entered into this weird period where I stopped applying the don't be a bitch rule. Basically, my rule that says don't go to bed before you complete everything. And then what happened was I would let one goal go. I would be like, okay, I won't do this today. Or, hey, I won't do that today. And I would just give up on this and this and this. And slowly, I started doing activities that I would already do normally, like like working out, but instead of doing a full workout, I'll do like a half workout that I wouldn't even consider like a good workout, but I would see, I would do like, I'd be like, okay, I did it. Or I would meditate, you know, a short meditation really sucked. But yeah, yeah, I did it, I did. And um, you stop getting achievements when you don't complete cycles of action. So if you pass up on something, you're gonna start using uh, the various uh, uh, mechanisms of basically, you know, making sense of that decision. The same mechanisms that I explained to you about, like rationalizations, like uh, making the, the mistake smaller, like, oh yeah, it's just, it's a stupid habit, who cares, it's not that bad. And uh, whatever other, you know, mechanisms you use to basically make it smaller, not take responsibility. So what happens is, Again, on, on an internal level, you start taking less and less responsibility. So you're like, okay, I, I'm, not even, I'm not even doing what I should do. So how can I take more responsibility? So you actually start diminishing your responsibility and then you lose momentum. You have less and less wins. And again, just doing the thing doesn't mean you get a win. You have to complete it. So I would still do all the goals. You know, I would still do... A shitload of stuff like upload you know four videos but not five do a good workout but not a great workout meditate meditate for 10 minutes but not 60 minutes basically I would do everything you know but I would kind of cut corners here and there and what would happen is I, I, I suddenly stopped getting materials for my videos like half of my videos um, that are from coaching you know I coach people I get a lot of really good content and the other half is through my own successes in life and, and lessons. And suddenly I stopped getting lessons. Basically you get into this, into this rut, into this uh, lull where nothing changes. It's like a routine now. And, and you, you stop seeing growth and accomplishments in the areas where you stop being consistent. And th this is just to emphasize how important it is. Like, you can really achieve anything you want, but you have to start 
small if you have to start small so if you can start big like when i started the the daily habits a couple of months ago like this routine i went big but i went big because i already had like a track record of doing big shit, so it was normal to me but for you maybe it's like that that girl who or guy who you know they decide to go on a crazy diet routine and it's like they go from zero to a hundred and they don't make it like more than two days so it's all about the consistency it's all about your ability to complete cycles of action so whatever you start doing do it till the end and if it, if you see this is something you're not going to be able to to complete make it lower because if you it's not like goals with goals you want to shoot to the moon you know to the stars whatever as high as possible because when you aim high you go strong and then you over aim and then you over hit you know because you're going to fall short on your goals anyway so why not set a bigger target to fall short on you know you rather fall short on a, a million dollar goal than a ten thousand dollar goal but with consistency you actually want to take the exact opposite route uh, you don't want to go over you know you, you don't want to go offensive you actually want to go defensive and you can actually see it by the natural inclination of people like when you talk with people about goals most people aren't like oh yeah you know let's set the biggest goals possible I just I want to have the biggest goals in the world everybody's like you know oh uh, is this possible is this possible and they try to set the tiniest goals that they think they can get away with on the other hand when you talk about daily routine and habits what happens to most people uh, you know New Year's comes for example and comes in uh, almost exactly a month and people are like I'm gonna do this and 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 you always know where the natural inclination is that's usually the wrong way to go so in this case again goals as big as possible aim far the bigger the better period habits the smaller the better because goals the tendency is that you set the goal and then the goal naturally kind of shrinks based on what's realistic what's doable until you kind of meet with reality halfway so you set a million dollar goal what's realistic is uh, 200,000 uh, you you guys meet meet there you know you work hard you don't get to your goal you don't fully achieve it but you get to you know somewhere in the middle the way it works with habits is the exact opposite habits you start small and the more you persist with them the more they push up so while you're like oh I want you know the biggest habits you know you need to shift it upside down again most people they, they have small goals big habits they try at least so they fail on their goals because they're too small not enough motivation not enough drive and they fail on their habits because they set them too big in the first place so they not, they're not able to make changes so if people only adopted this simple mindset that any change can be achieved by making the daily change small enough like for example you try to work out you're not able to do that you don't have the willpower to do it every day no problem just make it smaller so instead of working out do 10 push-ups every day and you just you start with that and then it grows because why habits push up habits are always 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 pushing up as long as you complete cycles of action habits will always push up when you don't complete cycles of actions habits start to decrease they start to wither to die to decay I don't, I don't i don't have better words but they basically go back to zero so 
whatever habits you want to set for your goals again make the goals as big as possible but make sure that the daily habits are are are, are possible for you in the sense that you can be a hundred percent consistent gun to the head be honest are you going to be consistent if the answer is maybe make the daily habits smaller remember it doesn't mean that you have to do less you can you can have a daily habit of reading 10 pages a day and then on one day you can read 200 pages but the next day the minimum you know the habit is still 10 pages so start looking at your daily goals if they're if they look too small for you start treating them as minimums like what's my bar for saying okay I did it so that on your worst day you're gonna have a good bar that you can be sure you'll make and then when you complete these cycles of action over and over and over again very quickly a lot faster than you think the bar is gonna go go up you're gonna say oh I can do more I can do more why because you're gonna see yourself completing cycles of action so do you understand that so even if the even if the goal is too low like the the habit is too low like it's too easy you it's going to auto correct very very fast because you're going to be like oh shit i can do so much more it, so it doesn't matter if you start you know big small medium as long as you start with an amount that you're sure that you can do that you can be consistent with and complete cycles of action you're going to find out where you stand so so for me because i'm you know i've built up the willpower I know a lot more about myself, again, from years of working hard and being consistent. When I started, again, after a long break, when I started uh, three months ago, I could have, I already jumped to really high levels of activity. Again, five videos a day, one hour of meditation, tons of working out every single day, and, and many, many more habits. The reason I could do that was because I was already kind of in tune with my potential so I I just got back in the habit I just started with with a bunch of small daily habits and then quickly it jumped back up to like an insane work amount and if I stop now for a month completely and then go back again I'll have to start from nothing build it back up and very very quickly it's gonna auto correct to my real level of motivation when I mean auto correct again you complete cycles of action inside the day. It's like, I did this, I did this, I did this, I did this. And then at the end of the day, you're like, whoa, I completed everything. And then the next day, I did this, I did this, I did this, and I completed everything. And and on the second, third day, you're going to start saying, oh, I can do more, I can do more, I can do more. And again, the more experience and, 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 and track record you have, the faster you're going to go up. Consistency. I'm <laughs> so glad to make a video about it. It's been a long time. So hope this video helps you a lot. Um, let me know uh, if you have any questions. I'd love to help you. And come on, like there's no reason not to have, there's no reason for anyone not to have at least of daily habits, at least of, at least of, uh, of actions that you take every day that progress you towards your goals. Small, fast, doesn't matter, but as long as they're continual daily progress, life becomes much, much better. But you have to complete cycles of progress cycles of action sorry you have to make sure you complete all the actions you set for that day and you do them well you do them based on the standards that you set and you keep doing it daily no matter what that's what's going to build up that massive level of success so subscribe if you haven't let me know if you have any questions